Good day everyone, David from Explorals here. Today we're going to talk about shared personal treks. Now shared personal treks is a feature that we've been uh, wanting to implement for quite a number of years. We've had lots of feedback and lots of requests for it. Um, with the shared personal treks feature that we're releasing in version 9.5, which is uh, July 25 this year, um, we have made it so that you don't actually have to worry about making them Explorals places. They can be personal places or Explorals places within the shared personal trek. And Whilst we're not going to discuss creating a personal trek right now, we're going to talk about the aspects of the sharing system. So we'll start going through that uh, if we come around and have a look on the screen. What is a shared personal trek? Obviously on this map right now I've got places and I've got treks turned on, but you can see all the treks that are turned on right now. I've got Explorers treks uh, and some personal treks turned on um, and probably some folders. So I'll turn off the folders, I'll turn off the places, and now you can see the treks. Uh, I already have a few personal treks in here um, and some shared treks. One of the things that we've made the change is that in the filters now, and you're just what I just did then was I went into the map layers and I'm going to filter what's on the map, the treks that are going to appear on the map, and you'll see now that there's a shared option. That's new, that's a new function that's just come into the system. Obviously before we had Explorers and we had personal. Firstly I'm just going to go into personal and show my personal trek, and there's not too many. There's a big one down here that goes across um, Sydney to Adelaide and a couple that are around Melbourne. There's a few in Perth where we live. Oh, and it looks like there's a little one up here. Um, <clears throat> one of the things about shared personal treks is they don't work unless you share a personal trek. So what will we do to share a personal trek? Uh, we can either go from the map view and click on our trek here. And if I click on it, you'll notice that you'll be able to tell that it's personal. It's got a little green dot. Um, in the little track symbol there. If we click to open this track now, you'll see I'm on a bigger screen. It says personal track up the top here and it's got the ID number. When you're on a smaller or narrower screen, it might just say personal track and it may not have the ID number. If you turn it into landscape mode, if you're on a small phone, you'll be able to see the ID number. Not that that's important, but that's just so that you know. Firstly, you need to share it. You'll see that we've now added this little line down here, share status. This current trek is actually set to be shareable. Now, how did I do that? I've gone into the edit. Now, the edit is the blue square with the pen in it. If we click on, click on the edit, you'll see a new option that we didn't used to have in the personal treks, where it's got the status and it's locked, shareable, or open. So you can most treks on the system or everybody's trek when you create it will be locked, just like that. And if and that'll be indicated by a lock, a, a lock symbol. Shareable is like an open padlock and open which means it's available to anybody um, to download. So when it's open that means it's publicly accessible to everybody and it's visible on the Explorers website in the open personal shared treks system. So if you don't want everyone to be able to see it just make it shareable and what that means is that people can open it if you send them the link which is probably the majority of how most people want to use this. I had it set to shareable. So how do I then share it to my friends? I use the sharing icon up here, the little green, uh, the, sorry, the little blue um, sharing icon. If I tap on that, down the bottom it'll prompt me, what do I want to share? Um, and I can either do GPX or I can do link. So if I select link, it'll create a share request. And so what I'll do is I'll share this trek via email. And I could type the email and you can see it's put the trek numbers in and I can share that to email or I can share it through, uh, I'll delete that. I can share it through any other sharing software I've got, Messenger, you know, um, Teams, text message, however you want to share it. Uh, you can also save it, uh, copy it and paste it. You can share it however you like. So once you've shared it, obviously the next thing is you're going to, the person who wants to receive this trek wants to be able to use this trek. So I just happened to have emailed myself one earlier. I'll just go into my email here. Oops, what's that doing? And here's the shared trek. So this was basically a link that I'd sent to myself. It's obviously showing me it as a picture on my email, but you can see the hyperlink that we did before. It says trek something something. So I'm just opening, I received this in email, sent to myself. Demo personal trek. One of the things I didn't show you was that on the app, if I go into the list, 
I go into treks, I go into filters, and I turn on shared. So this time I want to just see shared treks that I've added to my system. I have one shared trek, it's called Wheat Belt Cycling Adventure. This is just another trek from somebody else that I've been using for testing. What I'm expecting to do, and you'll see that the shared ones have a little orange dot. We had green for personal, now we've got a little orange dot, which means shared. This trek doesn't belong to me, it was created by somebody else, exactly like what we're about to do with the trek that we're about to import or use from the email that we sent earlier. So I'm now going to click on this trek called Demo Personal Trek, it's called. So when I click this, you'll notice that I didn't have a shared trek before. When I click on the hyperlink, it should open the Traveller app. It's got the bottom here, Retrieving Trek. Opening Requested Trek, and there it is. That's the trek that was shared with me by using that share link that someone emailed to me. So now I've got the trek available to me to use it. Uh, I can obviously see the directions that were created, and you can see that there was personal places uh, used to create this. They're the green place markers versus the blue ones, which are the Explorers markers. So the green ones um, won't give me any information and won't allow me to open them up to see what was in there because they're a personal place for somebody else, the person who created the trek. Obviously, if I open the um, Explorers one, I can go into that and see more details of the Altunga Tourist Drive and Bins Track intersection. But there's the trek. Here's the driving directions and all the information that was created by the person who created the trek. And I can then go into navigate and so now i can navigate that trek just like you would any other trek hit begin navigation and off i go so shared personal treks allow you to navigate from someone else's trek that they've created so if you're a group leader or a trip leader you can create your plan and share it to all the people on your trip uh, if you're going to travel with somebody that you know that's got the traveler app you can share it with them and they'll be able to follow exactly the same trip plan trek note plan that you created when you were setting up for your trip. It's been a long time coming. It's a really good feature. We hope you enjoy using it. Shared personal treks.